Hey guys, got a special video for you today in that we finally have a sneak peek of the new tower that's coming to BT6 Nix update, the Beast Handler, if you haven't heard already. It's not the exact name of the tower, but that's essentially what apparently the tower is going to be doing, handling beasts. And here's an image that Ninja Kiwi was so kind to uh, let us creators share it to you first. So this is a never before seen sneak peek of it. And yeah, basically in this video, I'm going to go over everything that I noticed from this one image. On top of that, there is another teaser of another part of this update, Dread Balloon, later, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's talk about the Beast Handler and what's contained in this image. So starting off, we have three different sheets of paper, which I would assume it is each path of the Beast Handler. So, path one handles water uh, creatures. Path 2 uh, looked to be dinosaurs, and uh, Path 3 looked to be birds. And you also might notice that beside each beast that there is a bit of uh, text that you probably don't understand, but I can translate it because apparently it's in this language called Monklish, which is well the monkey's form of English, and uh, it's basically a direct translation from the uh, English character. So uh, I went ahead and dug up the uh, character list. And now from that, we can decode each character and see uh, what they mean. So starting off on page one here, the top left translates to water, which, well, makes sense. They are water creatures. And so starting over from one to four, which I would assume are the tears, because I see the five is filled with question marks, which makes sense. They don't want to spoil what the tier five is going to be. But yeah, looking over at the tier one, this translates to a piranha. I'm gonna be a bit of a spelling police here and say, uh, actually they misspelled it. It should be the N before the H in Piranha. But yeah, aside from that, it makes sense. Tier 1 would be the smallest water creature, water fish. Now moving on to the Tier 2, this translates to a Barracuda. Uh, yet another misspelling. There's supposed to be two R's, Nijikiwi. Maybe they're spelling it slightly differently on purpose, but I don't think that's the case, because if you go over to the next one, the Tier 3, uh, it's great white with no misspellings. Anyways, moving on to the tier 4. This translates to Orca. A very, very, very big whale, but not the biggest, I would assume, considering while well, we do have the tier 5 coming up next. Again, we don't know what it is, so let's move on to page 2 here. And this one translates to land. And so translating the points, we have Microraptor for a tier 1. We got Adasaurus for tier 2. Tier 3 is a Velociraptor, and tier 4 is the... Tyrannosaurus Rex. And as you can see, the tier 5 is, uh, we're not sure what it is, but it has purple scales. Uh, kind of makes you curious whether or not these tier 5s are actually uh, real uh, species, or is it a fictional one? Because I don't recall any, uh, bigger dinosaur than the T-Rex being purple. Nor do I recall there being a water creature that kind of looks like that and is bigger than an orca for tier 5, but... Well, again, I'll leave you guys, uh, to speculate it. And now over to two, page 3, which is air, translates to air. Tier 1 is the Jir Falcon. Tier 2 is the Horned Owl. Tier 3, uh, it's cut off, but the last word is Eagle, and the uh, last two letters of the other one were E-N, so I would assume it's a Golden Eagle. Then we got Tier 4, which is the Giant Condor, and then, uh, yeah, just uh, part of the uh, wings for Tier 5, which we're not sure what it is. And that's pretty much what we can see face value from this teaser here. However, there's also a couple things that might be insignificant, but I guess I'll point out anyways, in that, uh... Did you guys know that the sheets of paper are upside down? Because, like, normally for a notebook page, the pick line should be on the left side, right? But it's on the right side for this one. Yeah, again, I don't think it means anything, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. And yeah, uh, I gotta say, I guess I haven't talked much about the Beast Handler in previous videos before. But this is kind of crazy to me, because this feels so far removed from, well, B36 Monkeys... Like, now instead of monkeys, we have these real birds, uh, whales, uh, dinosaurs in the game. And I'm kind of curious how it'll work in terms of, uh, cross-pathing it. Like, what would a 250 do? Would I have a mini barracuda and, uh, a massive dinosaur to your 5? Like, basically what I'm saying is, how do the cross paths synergize with each other? Because right now, it just seems like, again, every single upgrade spawns, maybe? Like, that respective, uh, animal. And what, if he upgraded to the next tier, does that animal get replaced by the uh, next tier, the bigger one? I would assume so, otherwise, uh, game might look pretty hectic if there's, like, seven animals per beast handler on, this, on the field at once. Anyways, if you have any other theories about what this beast handler could be based on what you're seeing here, then, well, speculate in the comments below. 
But now we're going to jump over to uh, the second teaser. This one was already made public. Dread Balloon, guys, is coming to 34.0. It was supposed to come last update, actually, 33.0, but they delayed it. Couldn't finish it in time. I was honestly assuming that they might push it back even more, because, like, having a new tower and a bosses update, that's pretty massive. But anyways, this teaser doesn't really show much about Dread Balloon other than that it's coming. A dreaded new challenge awaits. Now, luckily for us, they did already tell us a little bit about what Dreadmoon will do previously. They gave us a tad bit of info in a previous update patch where they said, uh, Dreadmoon, inspired by the Monkey City boss and even more deadly in PT6 with damage reduction, recurring shields, and rotating immunity to whole tower categories. Now, this is certainly different to what it was in Balloon's Monkey City, if I recall correctly. Back then, Dreadmoon couldn't be popped by lead balloons, and it grows a new stone layer each skull it hits, so that could be damage on any type. In fact, you can see it over here in this uh, very old gameplay that I made like seven years ago. Yeah, Blue Buggy City Flash, that was quite the time, wasn't it? Got that amazing 720p 30fps flash gameplay. But yeah, uh, looking back over those details, I wonder how the damage reduction for uh, Dreadbloom will work. Like, is it going to be a flat amount of damage, like minus one damage from all attacks, or is it going to be percentage based? Feels like it would make more sense if it was a uh, percentage damage reduction, because. Well, if it's flat, then you basically shoehorn one meta strategy in that all the towers have to do a ginormous amount of damage, so rip tax zone and all that. But yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, I think the recurring shields part might be that stone layer that was from Blue Buggy City, so it's not like it's a completely different type of boss. At least, uh, that's what I'm assuming. And yeah, the rotating immunity to whole categories uh, sounds pretty interesting. In fact, this sounds kind of similar to a boss mod I covered a while back. It was the Chameleon boss mod. Basically, that one rotated uh, type immunity. So basically, what that meant was that the boss was immune to lead balloons for a second, and then immune like a black balloon property. And then eventually, it would switch over to purples, depending on the amount of damage you did to it. Pretty fun mod. Check it out if you haven't already. Now, we know this one isn't going to be quite the same, though, because it says uh, rotating tower type immunity. So what I'm assuming is that any primary tower cannot damage Dreadbloom for a little bit, and then it changes to a military uh, magic and then support. Honestly, it sounds pretty fun. Can't wait to check that out. It's good now, at least, that we have uh, Paragons for uh, every tower category, so we can uh, challenge Dreadbloom in that aspect. But yeah, that's pretty much all the info I got for the upcoming 34.0 update. Probably one of the biggest updates in a very, very long time. Really excited for it. And if you want to see uh, that update content when it drops, make sure to subscribe and get notified on when it comes out immediately. And of course, if you have any thoughts on Dread Balloon or Beast Handler, leave it below in the comments and hopefully we'll have some interesting discussions. Also, make sure to use code ISAP in the shop. Thanks very much. And that's it. See you guys.